Hello friends and followers. This video is about how to debug your TPMS light on your Toyota Prius. So here we have a Toyota Prius. When you enter the car and turn the car on and drive off, the tire pressure light is on. All these tires have been inflated to about 40 pounds PSI. So we realize the system has a problem. So in this case, I found that the system is not transmitting uh, one wheel. So each of these wheels have a tire pressure sensor that transmits once a minute. This basically is the tire pressure sensor here, even though it's a fill point, the sensor is mounted on the back. At least with the Toyota Prius, these transmit once a minute. Anyway, you can monitor these with an RTL SDR dongle, and so that's what I'm doing here. You can buy this on Amazon for about 30 bucks, rtlsdr.com, and put a connector on it. So I'm using this connector and using a coax connector, and I'm sniffing each wheel just by putting this connector right here near the sensor and waiting a few minutes and looking at the output. Here's the output I'm getting, and this is interesting in its own right. So each of these sensors will, and I could put this back here and let it, let it soak up some signals, but basically each sensor will put out some information every minute. So here's the actual ID of the sensor, which you'll want to code into your Prius. TPMS, battery okay, one is good, meaning the battery is fine. If that's a zero, the battery is going bad. The model of the sensor, the time of the measurement, not sure what that means, temperature in Celsius. Um, RSSI, so receive signal strength. The closer this is to zero, the stronger the signal is. So if you put the antenna wire near the sensor, you'll probably only pick up that one sensor. And it looks like I'm still picking up that sensor, even though it's on the ground here. And I'm picking up a uh, 67 EF 7A2. And I think that's my right rear wheel here. Anyway, I found that this sensor is okay. I have good battery health. And what else? That's all I care about, good battery health. And I care about this ID. So I've gathered up all of my sensors here and I found that I have the right rear reporting in, the left front reporting in, the left rear reporting in, the right front sensor is dead. So that's how you figure these out. So that right front sensor will need to get replaced and then all these codes here need to be coded into your Prius. So when you recode these sensors, these tire pressure management sensors, you will need to put in all four IDs, that ID and, and that one and that one, and then the ID of the fourth new sensor that you will have installed at the tire shop. All right, so that's how to do that. So. The initial problem is this. When you turn the Prius on, you'll see there is a uh, tire pressure warning thing. So get back in the Prius, put your foot on the brake and start it. Okay, so you'll see the tire pressure light come on. There it is. It's flashing. So that light will flash. And then go steady. Usually when it's flashing, that means there's a malfunction. Probably means a sensor is dead, which in my case the right front sensor is dead. There's no way to tell from this car which sensor is dead. 
maybe from OBD2 diagnostics, I don't know. Yeah, you can probably connect to it that way, but I have often to connect to it via a radio and see how it works that way. There's also a reset button you can push down here to reset the system. I did that, it didn't make any difference, but let's just see if we can see this thing in the dark down here. There is a reset button down here. They always say it's below the steering wheel. I find it's hard to find this button, but anyway, there's no light down here at all. Apologies for that. Let me get a light running in here. I'm sorry this video is not scripted. It's not great, but at least you're figuring out some things. There's a laptop where I'm sensing the sensors. Um, I want to show you where the reset button is. So let's do that. Get some light in here. And show you where the reset button is. It's not hard to find the uh, TPMS reset button, but I have a hard time finding it. It's really not that hard to find. Okay, there's the light in there. Sorry, this is long. Let's skip around and see what you need to see. I usually don't make BS videos like this. All right, light is down where the OBD2 is. There it is. So OBD2 is right there. Start the car, press and hold this in for, I don't know, a minute, and then release it. That resets your TPMS. And then if it's still blinking, you have sensor problems. So that's my little video for helping you with your TPMS on your Toyota Prius, okay? So again, when you turn this thing on and the light blinks, it's probably a sensor. So we'll turn the car on again. Foot on the brake. On. And there's the light blinking. That'll quit blinking in about a minute and then it will go steady. Anyway, the sensors need to be fixed, new sensors installed, and then the dealer or the car shop will have to enter all four sensor IDs into the uh, computer in the Prius using the OBD2 connector and a device that would, or program that would let them do that. And then the light will go out. So that's my explanation of the TPMS light that won't go out. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.